In this video, I'm going to share with you guys the best free photo editing software. It's going to be as good as the Adobe Photoshop. Ever since I stopped using Photoshop, I have tried many alternatives like GIMP. It was too complicated for me because I was just a beginner and I also tried Krita. Actually, I liked Krita because it was easy to use for me, but it didn't match with the Photoshop. There are many features missing or just doesn't work as good as it works on Photoshop. Then I also tried Photopea. Photopea is a exact copy of Photoshop and people on internet are just going crazy over Photopea because it's actually good, but I found a huge problem with the Photopea. When you import a large image, Photopea just doesn't work. It just freezes. You can't even do any editing. So what's the point of using Photopea? Maybe in premium version, there is a free version and premium. So in premium version, maybe uh, it won't lag even if you put like the huge image in it. I can't go premium and the free version is just not usable for me. Then I found this. This is by far the best thing that I have ever found. It's not like I am the only one who knows about this, but I just recently found out about this. This is called Pixlr E, and this is also a exact copy of Photoshop, just like Photo P. Photo P is like more popular than this. Maybe that's the reason I never found out about this. But finally, I have it and I am actually happy to have this. This is also completely free and there is also a premium version too if you want to try. But it fixes one of the biggest problem that Photopy has, the large file thingy and freezing. I can actually give you a demo. So I'm just gonna create a thumbnail uh, project, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys a really, really amazing tool within this software which is just mind blowing. First, uh, let me compare it with photo P. Yeah, I'm gonna do it because this is actually the most popular, you know, Photoshop alternative, which looks like Photoshop, copy of Photoshop, right? So both have the 720p canvas. I'm gonna go deep and I'm gonna go to my screenshots. I'm gonna grab this big, you know, 4K image Okay, this is a huge file. This is like dual monitor screenshot that I have took. I'm gonna import it into the Pixlr, all right? I'm gonna add a new layer. I can move it around, no problem, all right? Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing in uh, the Photopea. Just drag and drop. Uh, uh, hello. Hey, Photopea, are you there? Hello. I think he's in sleep. Okay, never mind. He he he's awakened. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to work on this. If I can, I'm gonna try to zoom in. It just feels so laggy. Just just look at my mouse movement. It just freezes. So this is the main reason I didn't use Photo P. It's also as good as the Photoshop, just like for Pixlr. And uh, yeah, many people just love using this. But for large images it's not good at all it just freezes so that's yeah that's the demo all right now in pixlr this is just so good all right <laughs> as far as i tested this this has been working really really well for me and you have all the tools that you get in photo p plus in photoshop i mean photoshop is the king of photo editing software but still there are many alternatives some even suggest using canva which is even more simpler and easy to use tool for anything graphic design photo editing and whatnot but you know i prefer some you know tools that i can manually use like the text and many things <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think i need to explain each and every tool so you know you know you don't know then maybe you need to learn some Photoshop. If you know Photoshop, it's, it's gonna be a piece of cake to use. So there are many tools similar to Photoshop that you can use. Uh, the best one that I really, really like is this one, Cutout Mask. Uh, you can do it manually and there is a 
AI Auto. So it automatically cut out the background from your image. So let's try this on this image. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to turn out. We're going to try this with more complicated thing too. But uh, look at this. This is looking very good. There is a, some green spot here. We're just going to ignore that. And look at that. <laughs> this, this worked really well. The icons are gone, but yeah, just look at this. I don't know how complicated background it can remove, but for me, it just works flawlessly. So let's try this on this dog picture. And I'm just going to run the AI Auto, automatic background removal. And actually, I'm happy with the result. <laughs> this, this is the original. We can't really see legs and tail. Some of the part is actually hidden within like the grass. And this is after. I'm actually pretty good. I mean, I can go manually remove even more things from here. But you get the point here. Uh, if the background isn't that complicated, even if it is, uh, it can do pretty good job of removing the background yeah i really like it really really like it <laughs> this is my new photo editing software that i use on daily basis and i'm using the free version there is a premium version too which will cost you only 75 cents per month which is actually cheap really cheap yeah i mean if you like it you can go premium but for free it just works flawlessly yeah <laughs> It is just amazing and uh, yeah we have like everything here the text thingy yeah we have it some fonts are premium you can't use them so yeah that's that but uh, there are many good you know free fonts too i don't have much to say but in my opinion this is actually the best photo editing software for any individual uh, like who does the simple things right i mean just look at my projects here these are the thumbnails that i created for my last few videos using this and yeah it just works amazingly yeah just look at me here this is the last video's thumbnail i guess that i created and it just works flawlessly for me and uh, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yes. And yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.